Microsoft Flight Simulator is often seen as very serious, but never let it be said that it doesn't also have some very fun activities. Which in right here is a mod, it's a fantasy sci-fi city under the name of Mega Monaco. And if you find this interesting, there's another one out there set around Hong Kong called Future City. So if you like a change, if you like something a little bit different, then this is well worth a look. And talking of trying things a little bit different, this video is sponsored by Opera GX. Are you tired of your old boring browser slowing down your gaming experience? If so, maybe it's time to ditch your old browser and level up with Opera GX. Opera GX is a browser built for gamers and it has GX mods which lets you customize your browsing experience. Want to hear unique sounds as you type or have an arcade-like browser? All of this is completely easy. Just head to the GX store, pick up the mods that suit you and enable or disable them in a snap. And let's not forget the GX Corner, where you can find all things gaming in one spot. Stay updated with free games handpicked by the Opera GX team, amazing deals, new releases and breaking news. Do check out the links in the video description for everything you need to know. So accessing Mega Monaco is super easy. You simply download the mod and place it into your community folder. Once it's installed, you go to the coordinates on the screen right here. Those are also available on the website. And, well, that will load you up right near Mega Monaco. We're going to take a very quick look around the city then. Now, I want to talk about something else very briefly, very quickly. Some of you may have noticed I sound a little bit rough. I've come down with a cold or a flu or something, been in bed most of the time, getting up for just a little bit to have or uh, put together a very quick video here. So, uh, this video may not be up to the usual standards, but hopefully you'll still enjoy it and find it interesting nonetheless. I've tried to find... Uh, something that's pretty unique and fairly different to take a look at. Now, this mod comes from the website flightsim.to. It's called Mega Monaco, so very easy to search and find. Just go to that website and search for it in the uh, well, search field. And when you're flying around here, you'll notice a few interesting things. There's actually a number of Easter eggs dotted around, things which are somewhat, well, unusual to say the least. We'll take a look at a few of those in just a moment. Now, the website points out that this city is actually taller than Mount Everest, so it is truly massive. I think that's very well conveyed on, well, just by flying around here. But the thing is, you're likely going to need to use a fast plane. I've chosen the FA-18 here, but you could equally, if you want to go for the full sci-fi experience, use the Halo Pelican, which of course is free with Microsoft Flight Simulator, and I think that would really complete the sci-fi fantasy feel here. Now, I do want to point out that, yes, a number of people are probably not going to feel that this fits in with Microsoft's Flight Simulator in general, which, after all, is a pretty serious sim. But I also think there's plenty of room for things like this, especially for those who want to try it out. After all, uh, it's an optional extra, not a mandatory extra. And Microsoft themselves, I guess they seem to agree just by virtue of the fact they included the Halo Pelican in the sim to start with. So that's a look at the lower leveled areas of the city. Let's get some altitude and take a look at things a little higher up. And you can see really the scowl of the city right here. Just look at the view distance we got over the landscape. This will also be where you might notice a few Easter eggs right there on that spire is a Pokemon, one of the legendaries. Meanwhile, down there on the ground is a pyramid, which looks remarkably like the French Louvre Museum. In fact, I'm pretty sure that the more you fly around this area, the more things you will notice that are simply from uh, other games. I noticed another little Pokemon down there on the ground. You know, actually, I'm pretty surprised there are not a load more different cities like this. I kind of thought right back when Microsoft Flight Simulator was released that, yes, as I said, it is a super serious sim, but I kind of felt that some people would put a few more spaceships and uh, things like that in. And whilst these are available, they never really took off, at least not in a big way. The Halo Pelican proves that, yes, this can be done, and I kind of felt that people would have perhaps included uh, Elite Dangerous ships and Star Citizen ships, to say the least, as well as some Star Wars ones, although I know those are available, although I don't think in a particular great detail. At any rate, that brings us to the end of this video. Sorry that it's a bit of a short one. Like I say, feeling a little bit under the weather today, but hopefully you're going to start feeling a bit better in the coming days. Do let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments section below. And of course, don't forget this video was sponsored by Opera GX. My thanks to them. 
As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.